And as you can see from the comment that's on the bottom of your screen, Miami-Dade County, this one county, I mean, there's thousands of counties or hundreds of counties in the US. This one county has already lost nearly half a billion dollars of value in a 10 year time frame because of reduced real estate values. Half a billion. And you're like, well, eh, half a million. You know, it's one county, right? So half a billion matters. But look at the future projection on the screen of lost value. Not half a billion, not five billion, but $35 billion in one county decline in value of real estate. That's a stunning number when you realize how many counties there are in the US. And Southeast Florida, that's just one example. We all remember when Hurricane Sandy smashed into New York. It turned New York Public Library into a large swimming pool. It turned Wall Street into a water park. You know, we've chosen to forget the colossal damage of $65 billion. Once again, I'm following the money, right? No one can argue that New York took a $65 billion hit because you know Fox would say that and so would CNBC because it's just dollars, right? And that was just one hurricane. Try to remember pictures of Manhattan with submerged cars and overturned trucks, no power, no heat for millions of people for weeks. Well, New York is now moving forward with building a sea wall, a wall uh, all the way across their, their sea border that sucker is expected to cost $200 billion, right? I mean, Trump's vault was cheap. And we hear that they plan to raise the money by massively increasing taxes on New Yorkers, including massive increases in real estate taxes, in property taxes. So how's that going to affect your investments? There's a bunch of you that are in New York right now. How's that going to affect your investments in New York or your investments in Miami when massive tax hikes are used to build seawalls? And you're like, I don't believe in climate change. Who cares? New York believes in climate change. Miami believes in climate change. Unless you're a big politician, you don't have the ability to influence their belief. You're just going to suffer. That's my whole point, that unless there's a, there's a presidential level candidate sitting in this webinar, you may not be able to have any impact. People have already decided what they believe in.